Alright you guys, so I just got out the shower. As you can tell, I'm in my robe and then my like hair is up and everything. But yes, this video is sponsored by Dossier. If y'all haven't been with me for a long time, I've been using Dossier for months and months and months. I've used them so many times and I love them every single time. The concept is basically like they take a luxury, popular, expensive perfume and they make it cheaper and more affordable and it smells the exact same. So I'm gonna show you two of my favorites right now, especially for the winter and fall seasons. All the information will be in the description box, of course. I won't let y'all go outside, okay? So I put my coupon codes and links and everything to all the information about these perfumes in the description box below. So definitely check that out so you guys can get you some luxury perfumes on the low, okay? So the first one is a YSL Black Opium Inspired Perfume. It's called Floriental Vanilla. This one is literally my favorite so far. One of my favorite perfumes is Black Opium Perfume. I've never bought it just because I like get the sample and and I just wear it on special occasions. But now that I have my dossier, I have like a full size bottle. So yes, this is what it looks like right here. I love the packaging. I usually use the small sample perfume. They give you a sample so you can try it out. If you don't like it, you can send it back as long as you don't open the big bottle. So I've just been using the sample. Um, but yes, I love this. I'm gonna wear this today. It smells so good. Like this smells like the perfect year round scent, but especially for like fall and winter. It's like sweet. If you smell black opium, YSL black opium perfume, you know exactly how it smells. This smells the exact same. It's just cheaper. You get more on the low. This is super affordable. Um, I really love Dossier. I will continue to say I love Dossier, okay? Cause all their perfumes are bomb, okay? They know what they're doing, okay? So this is Floriental Vanilla. I'm gonna be wearing this today, but I'm gonna show you guys another one that is perfect for like the fall and winter season. And by the way, this is how it looks. It comes with the full size version and the sample size. As you can tell, I've been using that sample size, okay? So I also have another one. This one is actually inspired by Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. And this one is called Oriental Oak Musk. This one is a different type of scent. It's not as sweet and vanilla. It's very oriental. It has some like fruity scents. The top notes have orange and peach in it. it has a little bit of oak musk and vanilla, jasmine, rose. Um, so it'll tell you all of this on the packaging as well. Um, but yes, and it has like the magnetic clothes like i just love the packaging okay definitely another one of my faves for the winter and fall seasons dossier definitely hooks me up every single month with some great smelling perfumes these are actually some of the ones i got a couple months ago and i still love them just the same even more actually because it is like fall and winter season um so yes i love this so much like i said definitely check out dossier i definitely recommended it to friends and family in real life and i definitely recommend it to y'all y'all my kinfolk y'all my internet family okay so definitely check them out use my coupon code to get some more money off the already affordable perfumes okay that they have and then just let me know how you like it it's even a great gift for valentine's day coming up treat yourself or you got some suggestions for your man okay tell him give me some of that dossier okay definitely check them out like i said all the links in the description and let's get back into the video okay <laughs>
right you guys so I am ready for the day I'm just wearing um, one of the sets that I got from lovely wholesales like this burgundy set so comfortable literally this jacket is comfortable I'm just like super comfy today um, on Sundays I don't really do too much unless there's something I already planned but today I don't have many plans um, I will maybe link with some of my friends but right now I'm just doing you know some self-care rejuvenation because if y'all didn't watch my update video I did get a full-time job so Sundays I try to like take the first half of the day to myself to do what I need to do that I you know can't do throughout the week so I just called in an order at this place called the Pirates Boil one of my co-workers recommended it to me she said it was better than Juicy Crab if y'all aren't from Atlanta or y'all haven't been to Atlanta or been to Juicy Crab it's literally the best seafood boil place I personally have ever been to or tried. So she said Pirate's Boil is better than Juicy Crab. I'm going to test it out. I got medium in the Pirate's special or whatever special sauce they have. Um, you know, every seafood boil place has their own little special concoction. Basically, all of them mixed together. Um, and then I got medium. I usually do hot, but she said do medium. It's still good and you can like enjoy it. So I'm taking her recommendation and I'm trying it and I'm about to go pick it up. They said it'll be ready in like 15 minutes and it's like 15 minutes for me. So I'm about to head there now. I am going to run a few errands like grocery shopping. I am going to work out. I'm also going to possibly buy another turtle because since I'm going all the time I feel like he needs somebody else with him if y'all don't know I have a turtle his name is Squirtle Squirt for short and he is the cutest little thing he's like this big um yeah he's up right now it's a little blurry but this is him he's up and stuff um I let him like roam around like as much as possible um sometimes he be having to stay in the cage. But I have to get him another cage um, because that one is cracked. And I have another one, but I think I want a new one. So I might get a new cage, a new turtle, and like some accessories for the cage, like rocks and stuff. But yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see. But so far, so good. I've had him since my birthday, October 1st. So he's he's still alive okay so i mean i must be a good pet owner if y'all don't know i really want a dog very soon i'm gonna get one um whenever i move so that's gonna be like at the end of the year possibly at the top of next year but i've been looking into it and stuff because i've wanted a dog all of my life never had a pet other than like a fish and a turtle for like a couple days it ran away but that's a that's a story for another time but um i'm gonna stop rambling but i feel like i just haven't talked to y'all in a minute so i had to catch y'all up a little bit but i'm about to head to get my food and then i'll update y'all on what i'm going to finish doing later on in the day i do need to plan my week wash my hair a lot of stuff so we're gonna get to it okay i edited and uploaded a video i also filmed a video um i'm filming this video so i've been super productive this morning watched my sermon ate some breakfast cleaned up folded some clothes all that kind of stuff so yeah i'm about to get out and about y'all know daylight savings and stuff the sun be going down before five o'clock i'm like wait a minute can we get a little bit more daylight but yeah so i'm about to head out okay and i will see you guys when i get to the pirates boil place Back home with my ooh, ooh. Oh yes, this is looking and smelling so good. I don't know how much of each. I just ordered whatever she recommended, but I just asked for like snow crab and shrimp. So I got snow crab and shrimp. It came with like andouille sausage, but I don't really eat the sausage. So I just substituted it for more potatoes. And then of course you get the corn as well. So I am excited. Ooh, two corns, eggs too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got medium treasure chest was the, the, the compilation of what I got. And then the um, pirate special as the seasoning. 
Oh, this is about to be so good. Back at home now, I have all my groceries um, that I bought today. I did um, a run to Family Dollar and Kroger today. I normally do like all my shopping at Kroger and Family Dollar just because the Family Dollar stuff is like the stuff I can get for cheap that I don't really care, a brand or it's not food related for real. So I get that from Family Dollar. Save money, pro tip, okay? Go there first, get what you need, and then go to your like regular grocery store for like fresh fruit and like produce and stuff. So I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul, I'm gonna unpack it, and then I'm gonna go through a quick grocery haul of what I usually get for the week. I got a little extra stuff today because I need to re-up on some things, and I have like specific meals in mind. So certain things are like for specific meals, but I'll just show you guys everything. Don't mind my Christmas mat. I do need to put it up, but I need to get a new uh, kitchen mat first. So yeah, that's what I should have got today too, but it's okay. I'm gonna unpack this and then show you guys. Okay, so this is everything I got from Family Dollar. My total was around $40. Um, mind you, I did get a lot of stuff that I need to re-up on, like some seasonings and stuff, um, but I'll go through it really quickly. Um, so I got these pans because I'm making some baked mac and cheese. I needed some tongs, so I got some tongs. Um, Lowry seasoning, garlic powder. Mind you, like this kind of stuff, I don't buy every single time, um, but I needed to re-up. Um, some elbow macaroni for macaroni. I'm also going to make shrimp alfredo. I'm making that tonight, so that's what I'm going to be making. Um, I just needed some fettuccine noodles, needed some more baby oil, tea tree oil, dishwasher pods, some more razors, applesauce, some toothpaste, cocoa butter, air spray, candle. I need to re-up on some my Bath and Body Works candles, but for now, this Glade apple cinnamon. I love any fall strong scents because they're more potent, especially if you're getting like cheaper ones. Um, so like I got this one um, for now. Um, what else? And then some wipes. I didn't have no like Lysol wipes, but wipes are wipes to me. So yeah, this is what I got. So really the only thing I would get on a regular is applesauce. So like I said, most of this stuff I won't, I don't, don't purchase every time. I literally got fruit snacks for the first time like in months. Um, Cause I don't usually keep like unhealthy stuff at my house. Like if I go out and I eat something unhealthy, that's different. But if I'm at home, it's nothing in my home that's not really like healthy for real. So I'm gonna show you guys the Kroger stuff and then I'm gonna get to cooking. All right, you guys, so this is what I got from Kroger, not much, um, but I did spend $30. Um, so yeah, all together I spent like $70 um, today and most of the family dollar stuff I don't buy every week. So I usually spend around like $50 for the week, but I have like my shrimp already um, and I'm using shrimp for both of my meals and I also have some fish. I already have vegetables. So yeah, I usually spend like $50 or less on groceries a week. I just try to keep a good budget. Um, but yeah, this is what I got. Um, I got cheese for my mac and cheese slash, um, some, my Alfredo needs some Parmesan too. I got some cuties. I got my fruit, my strawberries and blackberries. Um, if y'all know me, Y'all know I hate sour cream. Like, I cannot stand it. Um, it's a whole long story, but basically, I was doing a project where I had to do like a got milk look, and I used sour cream, and literally, it made me so sick that I can't smell this. Like, I can't smell this. Like, whenever I do use this, the only reason I got this is because I use this for my mac and cheese. Um, and so the heavy whipping cream for the mac and cheese and the, um, shrimp alfredo because i'm making it from scratch and um, some minced garlic and some chopped onions for literally everything um except for mac and cheese <laughs> but um yeah so these are the items that i got oh and some yogurt greek yogurt i already have some i put my fruit on top of my yogurt as well as some granola i use like the big pack of like already crunched up granola and i just sprinkle it on top with these two and it's like a super quick breakfast and i always enjoy it i usually get a different type of yogurt i put it on the screen um but yeah they didn't have it so i just got this today um, but yes, this is what I got. Um, I'm about to start cooking. So let's get it. Okay. So these are the ingredients for my shrimp alfredo. Also using this broccoli as well. We are doing it the quick and easy way, okay? So we got the frozen broccoli um, on deck. Um, I got Parmesan cheese, fettuccine, chopped frozen onions, cause who got time? 
um, minced garlic because who got time to mince your own garlic? Mm -mm. And heavy whipping cream. And then these are the seasonings. I'm going to be using parsley, pepper, um, obey. It's going to be for my shrimp. Uh, Lowry seasoning saw, garlic powder. Tony's because if you're from Louisiana, we put this on everything. Like I literally put this on everything. Like everything. Okay. Um, so yeah, that um, onion powder. I don't know if I'm gonna need this, but I just have it out. And then some salt. So this is my shrimp. I'm just gotta um, take the tails off. But yes, this is everything that I got going on right now. And I'm about to whip it up real quick. I'm going to link the recipe down below. Um, it's by That Girl Can Cook. And so I'm just going to use her recipe because hers was like super easy um, and quick and like straight to the point. So I'm going to use her recipe today. Um, Y'all, I'm learning how to cook slowly but surely. I know how to cook, but like from scratch, I'm learning because I didn't grow up cooking or like making things from scratch so this is like the start of that um i've been cooking a lot um since i've been moved out so about a year and a half now but yeah i'm adding new things to my repertoire okay okay so we're gonna see how it turns out i got my shrimp cooked my noodles and my sauce is almost done yeah, so definitely look up the recipe. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box. She did it super easily. I did it just like the recipe, so I'm excited. I transferred the sauce to this big pot so I can add in my noodles. So I'm just about to add these right here. I'm gonna add them a little bit at a time. And then you just toss in between. I like mine pretty saucy, so I'm making sure it's still saucy, so that's probably enough. Um, so you didn't really need the whole thing, I guess half of it would be good, but I'll just make another batch like another day, like in a couple days. Um, when this is finished, add in the shrimp, okay, period, toss again, sorry I'm doing all this with like one hand. So it's a little hard, but it tastes so good. Mind you, I tasted the sauce, of course, before I put the noodles in. Tastes delicious, okay? So 10 out of 10, will recommend. And then I'm about to add my broccoli. I just warmed up my broccoli. So I'm about to add a little bit of that in there as well. So don't mind the paper plate because your girl don't feel like washing no dishes other than the ones I already made. So. Yes, this is how it turned out. Um, it looks really good. I tried some, it tastes really good. So yes, I'm about to grub, take my shower, all this good stuff and get ready for the work week. So I will see you guys in my next one. Kennedy.